वेलकम टू नर एपिसोड ऑफ फॉक्स सॉक्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू हैव अ जनरल डिस्कशन अबाउट द विंडोज रेड टीमिंग बूट कैम दैट इज गोइंग टू बी लॉन्च बाय शशि बट बिफोर यू गेट इनटू इट लेट मी जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू व्हाट वी डू एट रेड फॉक्स एट रेड फॉक्स सिक्योरिटी वी प्रोवाइड एंड टू एंड क्लाइंट पेनिट्रेशन टेस्ट रेंजिंग इन फील्ड्स लाइक एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी वेब एप्लीकेशन मोबाइल एंड हार्डवेयर सो अ लॉट ऑफ दिस इंफॉर्मेशन इज अवेलेबल ऑन आवर वेबसाइट दैट इज https://redfox.com अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव प्रीमियम एज वेल एज फ्री कोर्सेज दैट आर ऑफर्ड ऑन Our academy website, so you can check it out as well. And apart from all this, you know, we have a lot of content that is being pumped on YouTube as well. And if uh, you are someone who prefers to gain the knowledge in a regional language, you can follow Red Fox Bharat Security Channel as well. So that being said, I am Tarak Sakar Dande. I work as a security consultant at Red Fox Security, and with me, I have Sashi. Sashi, could you please introduce yourself to the audience and let them know about yourself? Yeah. Um thanks Tarak for the introduction and uh, my name is Shashi and I am a senior security consultant at Red Fox Security. Um I primarily work on red team engagements and cloud assessments and sometimes I also dabble into web application as well as hardware device testing as mm-hmm. well. So that's about me. Yeah. So I uh, like I have been working with you for quite a long time now. Yeah. I've seen you always doing red teaming activities. So you are com- you are coming up with Windows Red Teaming Bootcamp, right? Yeah. So like What is this this about and what are you going to teach in this? Okay. So as the name suggests it's Windows Red Teaming. Mm. So first let me uh, tell audience about the what is red teaming. So red teaming sure. is basically you are emulating an adversary mm-hmm. to try to find uh, vulnerabilities in a network. Yeah. So it's more like uh, um what if an attacker is in your uh, um environment mm-hmm. and what damage that they can cause. Okay. So that's what red teaming is. and uh, as the bootcamp name suggest it's windows red teaming it means the red teaming activities we are going to perform is particularly geared toward windows mm-hmm. and more specifically we are targeting active directory environments yeah so most of the environment nowadays is uh, uh, when we go- going on a red teaming environments we are seeing it's a windows environment mm-hmm. about 90 to 95% of the time we are seeing it's a windows specific environment or more specifically active directory environments mm-hmm. so that's why uh, we are targeting this windows red teaming uh, bootcamp so mm-hmm. that our audience if they are new to this red teaming field they can get started with this as well as if uh, you are someone who already know our cyber security or maybe you are a web application guy and you want to uh, you have uh, interest in this field and if you want to upgrade your skills then you can mm-hmm. any any time uh, take this take this boot camp which is yeah. windows red teaming boot camp great that that was really a lot yeah. of insight and like uh, in your cyber security journey as well you must have come through a lot of courses again mm-hmm. when there's a lot of courses related to red teaming on the internet mm-hmm. what makes your boot camp different from all of these other ones yeah. so i think there are three or four points on which i can mm-hmm. uh, discuss so the first point being it's uh, the our course is totally up to date mm-hmm. um whatever we are seeing in our real red team engagements Yeah. the attacks uh, which we are performing mm-hmm. those updated attacks we are teaching in the course Th- yeah. so the, the updated attacks are the major areas of uh, of our windows red teaming course yeah. yeah we have some of the content that uh, or attacks that are generally not used much mm-hmm. but still we are teaching that as well in our course yeah. so the first thing is that it is up to date yeah. to the latest uh, um, date that is uh, we are mm-hmm. going to releasing um first thing is it is updated it's updated second mm-hmm. thing second thing is that um, we are not teaching just the attacks mm-hmm. we are teaching them the methodology yeah so how they can uh, approach the environment mm-hmm. right so met- methodology is a area which uh, i think uh, people are lacking nowadays yeah. they know the attacks yes but uh, when to perform which type of attacks which scenario if they are stuck in scenario how they can come mm-hmm. out of that scenario and then um, per, uh, complete their engagement and uh, that's the second point the methodology and the third thing is the report writing skills mm-hmm. so it is one skill that i am seeing is lacking in most of the courses mm-hmm. so that's why we have as i said report writing is equally important than performing uh, uh, if you compare it with the engagements yeah right the uh, the attacks and all so that's why we are also implemented the report writing as well in the in our uh, uh, this boot camp boot camp so if you see it's uh, we are teaching the students or the cyber security professionals how they can perform a red team engagement mm-hmm. from start to end again mm-hmm. it's uh, uh, this red team engagement is more about the um, bri simulation kind of engagements okay that uh, are coming nowadays a lot okay so that's what we are going to teach the methodology about uh, windows red teaming mm-hmm. for a bri simulation kind of scenario okay. the entire methodology 
Great. So it's like it's more of all of the students who are going to enroll in your bootcamp are going to be pen test ready, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can just uh, get uh, get a job and then can they can perform end to end engagement. Yeah. So that's the main thing that I want to cover here. All right. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And again, uh, who all can actually enroll in this bootcamp, or are there any prerequisites that are really required for this? Um, there are few prerequisites, but that are also not mandatory. So. If you're really interested in Windows Atoming Bootcamp, um, I would suggest before coming here, you can you should have a basic knowledge of cybersecurity, uh, basic command line knowledge, and basic networking. Yeah. So that's the uh, you know small prerequisite that it, this course have. And uh, apart from this, uh, they don't have to worry about anything. Mm-hmm. I will take it from the very basics of Active Directory and Windows and take it from there. Okay. So any students. Uh, can enroll in this course plus mm-hmm. uh, even cybersecurity professionals who are already in web application or some other kind of domain mm-hmm. and they want to up- uh, upgrade their skills they can take this windows Team bootcamp all right yeah. nice so i like i, I mean uh, the whole point of bootcamps is like so red teaming you are familiar with the subject as well yeah. so you know it's a very large subject and you are going to pen all of this down in a bootcamp right yeah. so can you like explain the audience just to what all stuff is going to be discussed in this bootcamp and what students are actually going to learn oh uh, yeah so that's yeah. Uh, very important so that they should know yeah. um so we have uh, uh, divided our bootcamp into four sessions mm-hmm. So in the first session, I am going to be teaching them about the very basics of Active Directory, mm-hmm. also with practical. It's not just I am going to explain just through the theory. Mm. I am also going to show the uh, uh, the practical side of each component of Active Directory. Then I will uh, help them, or I will teach the enumeration tactics that we generally use in our day-to-day engagements. Yeah. So the session one is toward Active Directory basics and enumeration. Mm-hmm. In in the upcoming session, the second uh, session number two, uh, I am going to teaching them about Kerberos as well as Kerberos based attacks. And again, when I am saying Kerberos, it's not just uh, a simple Kerberos steps. I am going to say I am going to show them each and every uh, uh, step that Kerberos take takes. Basically, Kerberos is authentication protocol. Mm-hmm. So I am going to explain Kerberos in very very detail. And then after that, once they have very good knowledge of Kerberos, then I'm going to be teaching them about the Kerberos based attacks, which are uh, um, Kerberos roasting, Azure roasting, mm-hmm. uh, um, delegation based attacks. So yeah, this kind of attacks I'm going to teach in the sec- uh, session number second. Mm-hmm. And then coming on to the third session, third session is going to be all about relay based attacks. So these are my favorite kind of attacks that yeah. I very uh, like to perform in my yeah. engagement. Um, so. In this day, all the attacks are going to be focused about relay based attacks. So I'm mm-hmm. going to be teaching them NTLM relay attack, uh, um, WebDev relay attack, as well as uh, MITM6 uh, attack. So these are the attacks that I'm going to be teaching them uh, on the uh, session three, as well as all the doubts that uh, students, I have seen that students ha- uh, struggle in this uh, relay based attack because there are so many protocols when to perform which kind of attack. Mm-hmm. This kind of things uh, I will be teaching so that they know which attack to perform in which type of scenario. So okay. that's the agenda for sec- uh, session three. And then we will go to the final session, which is session four. So session four is going to be all about ADCS based attacks. Mm-hmm. Why ADCS based attack? Because that's what we are seeing in our day to day engagements. Yeah. Right. So I would say that mo- uh, 50% of our engagements are, uh, uh, are completed or, or I would say most of the most of the times we are pawning the domains mm-hmm. by exploiting ADCS based misconfiguration. Yeah. So that's why this day, this uh, session number four is going to be totally about ESC, uh, sorry, uh, ADCS based attacks, which are ESC one, two, three, four, mm-hmm. and ESC um, eight as well. Yeah. Because these are the ones that are very common. common. And apart from that, I'm also going to show them um, what is unpack the hash attack and the shadow credential attack. So yes. that is going to be the agenda for uh, session number four. So that th- this is how. So I will take them from the very basics from the session four, and by the end of session four. Mm-hmm. From session one to session four, they will be able to execute a red team engagement. Obviously, I'm also going to be teaching them the report ready skills on their way. Great. So it's going to be a completely action packed bootcamp yep. yep. where you are going to discuss a lot of tactics and techniques as well. Yep. True. Great. And again, it's like, uh, are there any labs that are going to be provided in the bootcamp? Yeah. Obviously, uh, we are going to provide them a full fledged lab. Mm. So the lab is basically emulating a envi- vulnerable environment Great. or a vulnerable mm-hmm. company. So and the access of the lab for the will be for the duration that uh, they are enrolled in this course. Mm-hmm. And if they are lacking or they, have, they are not able to complete the objectives, then what they can do, they can also extend it as well. Yeah. So yeah, we have a, a lab associated with this bootcamp. Likewise, um, our every other uh, uh, red for security bootcamps yeah. and courses. Great. And like, uh, 
Will this bootcamp help students to land cyber security jobs? Definitely, I I would say definitely they can land a job mm-hmm. by uh, if they gain the skills what I am teaching in this course or in this bootcamp I would say because uh, whenever I am I have, I have taken like countless of interviews I know what is lacking in the market mm-hmm. yeah so that's why I am saying that's why I found the uh, the lack of the uh, the lack of skills that they are, that they don't don't have to be job ready that's what i'm going to teach them mm-hmm. so that they can become job ready so that's the main goal of this uh, boot camp yeah apart from skills i want to make them job ready because there are so many job opportunities in the market but we are lacking the skill here yeah yeah i even i even remember the point that you said back uh, likewise the people are actually going to get pentest ready back to mm-hmm. enrolling in yeah. your boot camp bro that's that's really good that's really great and uh, next again this is something that is very common and a lot of times in our podcast we have discussed as to why report writing is very important yeah. so like can you please explain the audience as to why report writing is a crucial aspect in this whole boot camp okay so all the attacks and tactics are just i would say 50% of the engagement mm. i would say 50% engagement i invest my time on the report writing So that's why report writing is very important because the clients are not much concerned about how you perform the attack but they are more concerned how you are going to write the report in a simpler manner plus the remediations that you are going to give so that they can solve their problem. Hmm. So that's why report writing is a must have skill in today and if they are going for a, uh, if they are uh, uh, looking out for a job I think they should be uh, the report writing st- skills should be at par to the uh, the latest uh, the, to the current standards that we are following here at mm-hmm. Redfox plus to the other uh, other standards that we have so report writing skills is a must have skills apart from the uh, this attack attacking skills yeah so that's why it is very important okay and like uh, uh, is there going to be any certification which students will receive with the boot camp and again the question is like how much value will the certification provide to the boot camp yeah to the so, students i'm sorry yeah so this uh, boot camp will have a exam associated with it yeah so again the exam will be the basically a company which is vulnerable and they have to exp- uh, exploit the, that company mm-hmm. and um, once they complete that exam they are going to get a certification mm-hmm. the name is certified windows red teamer yeah so once they get a certification also this certification we are only going to give when they will uh, submit a proper report and if we feel like the reports are up to the standards mm. then they are going to be get assessed on the exam mm. pl- plus the report writing skills and once they have done that we were going to um give them a certification and this and when a company sees this certification they know that this person mm. know how to carry out a pen- end to end penetration test or uh, red team engagement yeah so it is going to add a lot of value to their resume okay Yeah. So that is so mainly this boot camp is going to help bridge the gap between the learning industry and the actual corporates where you work with the clients yeah. and you are going to make sure that they are ready for all like for right from conducting a pen test to actually making sure that the report is penned down in a neat and a yeah. composed way. Yeah. So yeah again like uh, the next question is how can students actually enroll in this boot camp? So the enrollment is pretty simple they can uh, um, go to our website which is academy.redfoxsec.com mm. on that academy there are many courses and boot camps so one of them is our windows red team boot camp uh, they can just navigate to that boot camp check the content it's just uh, the content is what i have explained uh, in this uh, podcast as well mm-hmm. so if they are really interested they can just enroll in that course and they are good to go so that's very 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 simple to simple. enroll to That being said uh, it was really great and i am pretty much sure all of the questions were answered in the best way possible again if you have any doubts please feel free to ask us in the comments or you can reach out to us as well and uh, before we end the podcast i would really like to ga- ga- give you guys a suggestion is because i have been personally working with him as well and he's a sashi has an amazing knowledge in red teaming and again apart from being a teacher is always a good mentor for the other consultants as well so i'm pretty much sure that he's going to lead a fantastic boot camp and make sure that all of your doubts regarding red team are resolved so yep and you have any closing marks for the students um yeah if they have i think we have also i think one thing we forgot that we have also faqs on our boot camp page yeah so if they have any questions common first, first check out uh, faqs and yeah. if the questions are not answered uh, there 
then you can always reach out to us i think you can reach out to uh, uh, the email is at i think info at the datfoxsec.com mm. plus training at the datfoxsec.com yep yeah and again if you need any more information all of this information related to the boot camp is available on academy.datfoxsec.com and we'll see you in the next one thank you very much yeah